By the time you click into this video and read the title, yes, this today's video is a bit special. So I'm going to show you guys my 48 hours fast means like two days fasting. So without further ado, let's go to the first day. You probably think I'm hungry. Sahur. Sahur means that you consume your breakfast but at earlier time then without water throughout the day until 7 o'clock Time check now, 9.26 uh, Hunger just kicked in a little but I think it will be okay Am I sleepy? But I think a little Almost fell asleep but I'm without food for 12 to 13 hours so I think that goes well so let's go and see the video now so right now I'm going to start with my workout now time check is 6 12 despite a little hungry and little thirsty I, I mean like quite thirsty and we will start our dinner at 7 so now I'm going to breakfast so now I'm going to break fast and use the first cup of milk. Cause normally they do start off with milk and dates, but I don't think there's dates in my house, so yeah. We do have vegetables, eggs, pumpkin chickens, and potato chickens. So 7 o'clock is where we call iftar. Iftar is where you break fast with your family or friends so they drink milk and eat dates to restart their body morning so now time check is 5.30 so I'm having granola and mixed with some conflicts so tell me if you put the cereal first or the milk first do the cereal first some milk thirsty and my lips are dry and under the scorching hot sun my eyes feels quite dry now I really give credits to those who need to work in and out under the sun especially in Malaysia where the, where the sun is on its full max power I'm so hot, I'm so hot Check me out, check me out, I'm hot I came home, I settled out a bit then I went to cycle with my dad. Yes. At the point of time, I asked myself, do I feel thirsty? Yes, I do feel thirsty. After this experiment, I feel like I can run 42km marathon without a sip of water. After we cycled back, I came home and did some light workout. Then I went to cook and I burned something. Goodness. Oh my goodness, my frying skill. <laughs> Burn! We are frying fried tapioca. Our time check is 7 09 and I'm ready to breakfast. It's now it's called Iftar. Ryan, call Iftar. Iftar. Iftar, yeah. I'm going to eat. I drank water already. I'm going to eat. Mm. That's baggy. Fried fish with chilies and it looks like a donut. 
start by fried tapioca balls and this one is the burnt one so I'm ready to eat what I learned in this 48 hours of Ramadan is first to control my mind because a lot of these battles like signal that sends to your mind and tell your mind I'm hungry but you can overcome it by distracting yourself with another thing so 12 hours of fasting is possible so I tried intermediate fasting but intermediate fasting is you don't eat past 8 p.m. and you breakfast at tomorrow 12 noon so I would say that um, you need to make the dedication to wake up at 5 a.m. and breakfast then you don't eat until 7 p.m. is kind of a dedication and commitment that you need to give so intermediate fasting or this Ramadan fasting is harder I would say Ramadan fasting is harder so a lot of things like betting on the mind so you need to control your mind so that you can do it you can do you can fast in 12 hours and slowly push the time like 16 hours to do intermediate fasting so second point I would learn is that I am more grateful for what I have and we have clean water in Malaysia and we have food provided on the table for us so this is something that I've learned to be more grateful for I'd like to say that Selamat Hari Raya Salam Adil Fitri to you all and see you guys in the next episode of Foodie Bye bye Maaf Zahil Badi